Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 10 of our Feed the Beast Neotech series. Today guys, let's just jump right into things. I did a small bit of off-camera work, not too much. I set up an enchanted table over there, haven't actually used it. I put this villager down that I got from this quest, I believe. One of these quests. This one right here, Pedro the Drillmonger. So by having 128 bronze gears in your inventory at the same time, you complete this quest, same with all of these quests. And we got Pedro the Drillmonger here. Speaking of quests, I've gone ahead and done all of these. Now, most of these I did on camera. However, the thousand bucks of creosote, I just changed our creosote to submit into here. Very simple. Prismarine is just chucking nether cords in front of the atomic reconstructor. Also pretty easy. Analog circuits, I just put 120 in my inventory. Synthetic rubber, I switched my rubber over to this instead of going into our rubber processing plant at our base. Bronze gears in my inventory once again. Regalium crystals was a weird one. I went to the undergarden and traded with all the, I don't remember the names. They look like Undying from Dota 2. I'll throw a picture up on screen for whatever they're actually called. But I traded with those guys for the regalium crystals. You can trade like one diamond for like 16 of them or something. So I just traded a bunch of diamonds and iron away. Got my regalium crystals really easy. Epic bacon, however, this was a pain. So over at my old base, you'll see Oh, this has just been going for a while. Well, that's not great. As you see, I have cactus going here on Snad, which I probably should turn off. I don't need this going anymore. But yes, I had cactus here because well, I needed green dye and there was no cactus in sight. I searched for a long time, both going over where we had previously searched and all over here. I brought my horse. I found a guardian temple. I found like many desert type biomes, but none of them held cactuses. Searched the entire thing, couldn't find a single cactus. Luckily, a wandering trader had a cactus, so we were able to do that. And then I just made a simple farm here. Once again, the snad from our sugarcane. And I just put fences here, which makes a cactus break once it grows. Very simple Minecraft stuff. And just set up three of them, and we farmed a bit of cactus while I was AFK. Then when it came to pigs, I put a few in a pen, started breeding them with carrots. These guys here are crop supports. They're pretty easy to make. Just requires four compressed iron ingots, which is really easy to get now. I just chuck iron ingots into a, or iron blocks into my pressure chambers and those smelt up really quick. And you can still right click harvest these as normal. And then they grow pretty fast. As you see the little green particles, they do grow slightly faster. And then I was just coming over here and breeding pigs and then shearing them with force shears. Force shears were gotten from force gems. Force gems are gotten from smelting power ore which is emerald ore in front of a lens of the miner or deep throck, but deep throck isn't guaranteed to get power ore. You can get many different ores with deep throck. And then for all the dyes and such, I went flower hunting, which was in this biome over here, I believe. Yeah, here we have a bunch of sunflowers. There's just a plains biome right here, right beside our base with a ton of flowers. I just broke a bunch of flowers for all the other dyes and then blue dye obviously we got from lapis lazuli now as you see on my task screen up here i have a few favorited items for today however there's a few more things i want to show off i went ahead and smelted all the titanium well most of the titanium while i was off screen very simple hot titanium goes inside the vacuum freezer and then this is simply titanium dust in the canthal now we had a bunch of small titanium for making aluminum so i just went ahead and smelted it all well a lot of it at least there's still a decent amount in here it does take a while to actually get through since we can't overclock it that fast. One last thing, I set up a small little door right here and I'll show you why. It's just so I can access it. But back here, we have a very, very simple piglin barterer. Now I have it turned off just because I don't need any more items. But if you just stick gold ingots in here, so if I do gold ingot and just put that as my export bus, it will input these items, right? And then these will get bartered. So I'll turn that off just because I don't need it to. And down here, it automatically inputs with a hopper upgrade. And then I also have an import bus on here. I just wanted to show you guys the collection before I put it into my system. Honestly, it could throw a storage bus on here instead. Either or really work. I didn't really need this much of stack upgrades. But I just wanted to keep it all to show you guys what I got for my bartering. The main thing I was after was ender pearls. And that was pretty much it. Nothing else in here I really need. Like, I won't complain about the Ursus leather or the obsidian. Those are very nice. Sharker shells you might use in the future, but the rest of it isn't too important. Like, bronze nuggets don't really need. Quartz don't really need. Black quartz isn't bad, I will admit, but yeah. It was mainly the obsidian and the ender pearl as I wanted. So, we did. We set up a small barterer. I won't keep that online too long, just because it uses up a lot of gold very, very fast. And one other small thing is I was making a lot of blaze gold. Now, blaze gold you can put inside the quarry if you use blaze gold swords. So, if we look that up, very simple. 
It is just blaze gold with a stick, make a blaze gold sword, same recipe, coke dust, and raw blaze gold. So I was sticking them in here, and we have a decent amount of stuff in here now. Pork chops are nice because now we have a reliable source of food, other than obviously shearing our pigs. So we do have a reliable source of food in that sense, but we also have gotten 181 wither skulls. So first thing I want to do today is kill a wither. As you might have seen, I've thrown on... Oh, I can't climb ladders backwards. I've gone ahead and thrown on a set of netherite gear. I'm pretty sure I'm going to one-shot the wither anyways, but let, let's go test it. I'm going to go to the nether, and then why did I jump down here? I need to go to the nether. So I do want to get some more soul sand if possible, but I'm pretty sure I'm in the wrong biome completely. Yeah, I'd have to make my way over here. And then we'll go spawn ourselves some withers. Like I said, I'm probably going to end up one-shotting them just because... Who knows what the bug is, but I can't not abuse it because I don't know how to... Like, I've tried relogging. I still get the exact same bug. I've shut down and closed my game. Still get the same bug no matter what happens. So, it's not a bug I can fix. So, we're just going to have to live with the fact that I one-shot everything. So, this wither fight is going to be pretty simple, to say the least. But we'll go ahead and spawn some withers in. Alright, let's see. I'm most likely going to one-shot this thing. And if I don't, well, that might be concerning. I'm gonna try with my fist first, because I think it'll be funny. I won't die, I'm in full netherite. <laughs> oh, it's actually ridiculous. Okay, guys, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go farm some withers, and we'll be back in our base in a few minutes. So, we went ahead and farmed a few, only 15. I don't think I'm going to need that many nether stars in this series, necessarily. I was looking at the assembler, it needs one for the condenser, and then we need one specifically for the transportation tablet, and one for the repair talisman. Now, the rest of these things, I don't think I'm probably going to need. I want an aerial interface, most likely just for the quest alone. However, we might want one just so we can feed our inventory with stuff. We'll see about that. Jet boots, I might do nomadic craft suit. I'm once again not sure. If we do nomadic craft, I'll definitely want both of these, but if I do gravitational modulating suit for mechanism, if I do the mech suit, I'll want this instead. But the suit from mechanism is a lot more expensive than the Iron Man suit from Neurotocraft, so we'll see what we do for flight. And then yeah, these two things are definite for today, or for this series for sure, and I might have spoiled it, but yeah, this is what we're going to work on today. I want to do some EMC, as you probably could have guessed from over here. Now, few things. I want to make a Galgadorian hull and a netherite woodcutter. This is mainly because I want to change my tree farm. We did get a creative upgrade, if you remember. I showed this last episode. If you give over 2.4 million forge energy, you get a creative mode upgrade. Now, this will cut all fuel cost to zero. It'll be complete zero, and it will also assemble our cart instantly. So, I want to make a Galgadorian hull, which is a bit of work. We have to make Galgadorian lumps which require fermented spider eyes, magma cream, eyes of ender, and gas tears. This is why I wanted to farm the mobs down here with the sword, so we can get blaze rods, magma cream, and spider eyes you don't get from this, but we should have spider eyes. I forgot to grab the gas tears. Of course I did. There we go. So with that now done, I want to move on to doing some equivalent exchange. Now we do have a free alchemical chest that we got from the modular cart quest actually, so that's cool. However, we want to make the Philosopher's Stone. I've done a small bit of preparation for this. I've made the blaze gold and I've made the blaze embers. So with some blaze goo in hand, if you stick a block of cold coke on it, it will slowly turn into blaze embers. Now the only thing we're missing here is the empowered diamantine crystal. This guy here is you just use the empower from actual editions with two clay balls, a piece of clay block, and a light blue die, and then a diamantine in the middle. I'm just trying to think where I want to set this up. Like right in the middle here could work. We do something like this. And this could also always be temporary. I don't need this to be a permanent solution. So there are all these on there. Gotta get my diamantine thing, and then I will cover up those up with clay as well. So if we take one diamantine, these are all charged. This should go pretty fast. Yep, there we go. Awesome. So one could argue I should have done the block of diamantine crystal, which is the exact same recipe. And it doesn't say the energy cost on here, which is weird. But yeah, these guys are the exact same recipe. So I probably should have done it that way. However, we do have one of these now. I will need seven more to make the lens disenchanting. So yeah, I probably should have made the block. 
because yeah we're definitely gonna want this we're gonna want the player interface as well and we'll want the philosopher's stone but i don't think we're gonna oh drill area augments pretty useful as well yeah you know what definitely should have made the block i'm probably gonna make a bunch more of these in the future because i'm gonna need ender cases as well yeah we'll need a bunch more of these however very simple to make two clay light blue and clay the first thing we can make is the philosopher's stone i'm edward elric haha <laughs> just kidding we have some atronalis fuel however i have a bunch of coal here for this specific reason i should just add this to my system actually so something like so should work should i have coal in here now yes i do perfect so now with our 30,000 coal what i want to do is make a bunch of alchemical coal now what i'm going to do is eventually make eternalis fuel it's making mobius fuel alchemical coal in this so using four coal you get one alchemical using four alchemical you get one mobius four mobius you get one eternalis now eternalis is used to make dark matter which is used to make red matter which will be used to make the mind and body stones these guys combined will make the life stone and with some fuel you will keep yourself fed and healed at all times so we're no longer going to need to eat stuff from pam's harvest craft so i do want to get this lifestone immediately online a few other things we can do with dark matter and such so if we look at dark matter it will eventually be used to make polonium pellets to do mechanism sps cases and stuff however other than that we can make dark matter tools and red matter tools and red matter and dark matter armor but other than that i don't see much use for this as far as i can tell other than getting a red matter collector and these are pretty simple to make. You just need a force craft furnace, electronic circuit, and a heat frame. And all very simple to craft. So I'm going to craft all this up without auto crafting. Unfortunately, this might take slightly longer than expected. However, we're only down to 14,000 coal already. So should go pretty fast. So that is a decent amount of Atronalis fuel. And I do need diamond blocks for this actually. All right, to get the exact amount of Atronalis fuel I need, this is very simple. So I've made the lifestone here. I'm going to click view recipe tree and then I'm going to shift left click on the body stone and the soul stone and then shift left click on the red matter and dark matter. This will tell me exactly how, how much I need. I need 120 Atronalis fuel in 108 diamonds. Diamonds don't issue 128 Atronalis fuel is so it's two stacks of Atronalis fuel. We have that not a worry. So I do want to make the lifestone immediately, which means if I click that, I will show, it will show everything I need, which once again, very simple. So if we make 12 dark matter like so, and then make four red matter, then I can make the body stone and then make the soul stone. And I do want the quests for these guys in which I can make the life stone and with some fuel in my inventory. There we go. So now that I keep fuel in my inventory, which I'll just keep a stack of Atronalis fuel at once. This should stay infinitely charged and I'll never have to eat again or worry about health. And yeah, heals and feeds the player. So we have that. Now, there's a few more things in the quest book that we can go ahead and make. One of them being the transmutation tablet. However, this guy does require a few more things, such as the osmium compressor and eclipse alloy ingots. So eclipse alloy ingots require us to go to the end. And then osmium compressor is obviously just mechanism. So that is the quest down here. However, we know how to do mechanisms, so that's not too big of a worry. So it wants us to make an osmium compressor, which makes sense. We do need to make reinforced obsidian. Simple recipe. So we need infused alloy, which is a metallurgic infuser. I need the osmium compressor. So metallurgic infuser, pretty simple. We'll make an external heater and a steel furnace. And that should be metallurgic infuser done. Awesome. Very simple. Then osmium compressor. I will need advanced control circuits. And that's it. I'm pretty sure. Steel casings. Yeah, we already have osmium and everything. So I can actually make one of those right away. Make more of those. Make two steel casings. Any quests we can get. Ooh, some upgrades. Nice. We'll take those. And yep, that's pretty much it. So I think I should be able to pull macerate obsidian into dust with our macerator. Yeah, okay. It does make the right dust. Perfect. And these should connect to our electrum cables downstairs. So for now, I'll just throw these over here on our machine wall. I can start making... Oh, how much osmium do I have? I only have nine. Okay, we're going to have to make a lot more osmium here. So I'll throw it back in this guy. I'll take titanium out. Take out our titanium. Since it's not like we really need the titanium at the moment anyways. So we're just going to leave the titanium there for a while. And I'll just do it while I'm around the base collecting resources and stuff. However, for now, we'll just let the osmium go since we will need a lot of that here in the future. So this should work by all means. Yes, it does. Perfect. So that'll get us our refined obsidian dust. This is making control circuits. And then simply make the advanced control circuits to get an osmium compressor. And that's a quest. Oh, uh, no, it needs the other thing first. And refined obsidian goes in here, and I'm out of osmium. 
And there we go. We'll make some refined obsidian ingots. And I believe I only need four of these for the quest or for the tablet, I'm sorry. Oh, I only need two. Okay. So we have refined obsidian. We have stainless steel. Now all we need is the empowered void crystal, which is coal, flint, stone, and black dye. So that's very easy. We'll grab the two of these. We are good to make the transmutation tablet. So we should have everything in the system already. Perfect. Is that not a quest? Oh, it's definitely a quest. What did I complete? Oh, Eclipse Alloy Ingot. Well, I definitely don't need an Eclipse Alloy to make this. Maybe they messed up the crafting recipe. I don't. This is definitely the recipe. Hmm. I wonder why it's locked behind that. Because, yeah, you definitely don't need a thing for that. However, now we can see the MC value of a lot of things. And the main thing we were talking about last episode were the drills. These guys all have EMC, which means we can actually make infinite resources without having to worry about stuff. I could just chuck a few diamonds in the EMC generator. And yeah, we have 524k EMC. And then that will make us how many drills? Where's steel? A decent amount of drills. So a stack of diamonds will get us a decent amount of drills. Stack of emeralds will probably even get us more. Yeah. So I do want to make another one of these with osmium ingots. And then we'll turn one into a tablet form. So that requires dark matter blocks which I don't know if I'll have enough dark matter for. No, we don't. Okay, so that's four dark matter blocks for this thing. And then we'll make a transmutation tablet on the go. So I will throw one down. You know what? We'll just throw it down right here and right here. Perfect. And I wonder if I throw my emeralds into this guy. Oh, why don't you want to work? Okay, so this thing is very glitchy. I have thrown 47 million emeralds worth of EMC in here for now. And what I do want is, like I said, I want steel drills. So these guys are a pain to make. That's why I'm going to want to do this automatically. And I should have these all be made over here. Yes. So if I throw one in here, now we have steel drills and I can take out stacks of steel drills. So now we have infinite resources. <laughs> Very simply. I'll throw them all in there, and yeah, this guy shouldn't run out of steel drills for a very, very, very long time. And yeah, it'll produce infinite emeralds, and the cycle will continue forever. I will never have to worry about EMC, I will never have to worry about resources, and that is what I like. Now, there is the chicken mod in here, and I feel like I've said this, but I might have cut out the videos. I don't plan to do anything with the chicken mod. I think the mod is quite... I don't know, I'm pretty sure it's slightly buggy from what I've heard about it, and also just a weird automation, like there's specific conditions to it. Now it could be interesting, and we might go ahead and just rush through the entire quest line by the end of the pack, just do 100% the quest book. However, for now, I'm not going to worry too much about it. While it is infinite resources the same way I'm doing it, what I'm doing isn't any less or more cheaty than using chickens. However, my method is still using tech at least of some sort and that is using modern industrialization and that is my personal goal is to use as much modern industrialization tech as possible however making drills was just a quite the pain i don't like the recipe they're quite annoying to make titanium drills will do the exact same thing with as soon as we can we'll duplicate these uh gold drills i don't really need the gold drills for anything and then aluminum drills i will make virally mixed with so you know what i will do that as well i will make some aluminum drills so that we can do the exact same thing with this guy so aluminum drill and then we just need a bunch more emeralds as well and it's bugged again okay relog time and i'm using emerald blocks this time so it goes a little faster and we'll grab four stacks or six x or i grabbed apparently and this will allow a decent amount of oil to be drilled from the ground. And once again, this lifestone is just not working. I might be doing something wrong. I have it activated. I don't have fuel in my inventory. Maybe that's why. But this is my input hatch. I will do automatically pull. And we'll let this guy run and make a bunch more virulent mix. And this guy is a digital circuit, another star, eclipse alloy ingot, and then diamond plate. And then also synthetic rubber, which we've already made in the past. So the big thing here is the eclipse alloy ingots, which is with Cooper Nickel and getting raw eclipse alloy. So that is the Dire Technologies quest. So going back here, we need to do Void Shimmer and then Shadow Pulse Goo. So Void Shimmer Goo is Ender Pearls, End Stone, Blaze Bloom, and then Dragon's Breath. So we're going to go on an adventure and find the End Portal. So I have some Eyes of Ender here, but I'm going to make a few more just so we're not, we don't run out on our adventure. I'll probably one-shot the Ender Dragon, so that's not an issue. I will grab a bow to do so though. 
We have a force craft bow here. I'll grab some arrows. And yeah, we'll probably one shot the dragon anyways, but we'll grab a force bow just in case. And then for the shadow pulse goo, I need skull triggers, skulk, and echo shards, which means I need to find the deep dark biome and then polyethylene. So we have everything here. It's just a bit of adventuring today. So we'll take our horse, which we can do with this key right here. So if I hold X, I can call my horse to me at any time I want, which is super cool. So if I leave my horse somewhere and and say I leave my horse and I die. I can call my horse right back to me. But anyways, we're going to play adventure for the end portal, turn a magnet on, and let's see what we can find. Okay, well, we know we've hit the fortress thanks to the I spy achievement. I just don't know where it is. Oh, and we found it. Right, this is the better dungeon. I hate these things. I'm not a fan of Young's. It is included in every mod pack you play, and while they are slightly cooler to explore than the original ones, the end portal one is the most annoying. It is such a pain to find the end room that I hate it. However, I will say the loot is nice. So in that sense, I won't complain. And there's the room. 10 years later. All right, well, let's head to the end, see what happens. Oh, okay, we don't spawn with, we spawn with terrain around us. Okay, small bit of lag to load in the dimension. Nice, our fists of doom work in this dimension as well. And now let's test it on the ender dragon. Where are you, good sir? Oh, I do need it to actually shoot end breath at me. So I don't want to shoot it just yet. Oh, it has redesign. Well, that's cool. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna one-shot it, but that's cool. Can you please shoot me? Oh, force bow does not work with force without force arrows. Oh, we're gonna have to wait for it perch but that is the dragon breath we needed so we will need it to perch to kill it but for now we'll just kill some endermen and where is the center oh it's down here what a weird generation i feel like this didn't generate right i mean there's no way this generated right so bmc no it doesn't okay i do want to collect as much as possible while i'm here just so we can make a decent out of void shimmer goo and then once the scene perches if it decides to we'll be good come on and perch you can do it there we go it's gonna perch nice Cool. <laughs> well, that was easy. Did we get anything cool from that? No, we did not. We got absolutely nothing. Oh, what just happened? Can't say I've ever seen this before. Oh my goodness. What just happened? Excuse me? I don't know what mod does this. <laughs> but yeah, it seems... Is this... Nope. It's not under... Oh, it's waves. Oh, it's a wave mod. Well, that's cool. Did I have a torch on me? I did, right? Yes, I do. And that should craft, correct? Is it not synthetic rubber? Am I crazy? Synthetic rubber. Oh, it requires 36 EUs per tick. And this is max 32. I wonder if I throw upgrades in there, will it work? I don't think so. I don't think this is how that works. I might need to make a better system. Yeah, I will need to upgrade this to MV, which is fine. I gotta upgrade them all to MV eventually anyways. So do I have an advanced machine haul? Yes, I know. I have a turbo. I have four of these. Perfect. So we'll throw it over here. And there we go. Void Shimmer Goo on its way. I just stick it on the wall here. I'm going to make a wall of these guys for now. So with Void Shimmer Goo, I'm pretty sure it's diamond blocks. It might be emeralds. We'll see. Yes, it's diamonds. Perfect. We'll let that corrupt. And in the meantime, I'll make some more gold as well. But this will give us Celeste Gems. And there's a lot in the Dire Themes mod that I actually want to do eventually here. And mainly that it will be Shadow Pulse Goo. This stuff is insane. It has the largest growth speed of all the soils and maintains the Void Shimmer soil's ability to teleport crops it harvests. So you can set a chest where you want the crops to go with your home, and then whatever you hoe with that, it will teleport the crops and automatically harvest them to it. So you don't need a farming block, you don't need anything like that. So eventually we're going to make the Shadow Pulse Goo, and that will allow us to make an EMC farm of some sort. I just think it's an interesting way to do an EMC farm with farming because normally you wouldn't do that. So what we'll do is Shadow Pulse Goo, we'll do crop sticks and we'll do glass. What is the, is this called farmhouse glass? Greenhouse. It's greenhouse, right? Yes, greenhouse glass. So with greenhouse glass above crops with this, we should be able to make a really funny EMC farm. And while it won't be the best EMC farm by any means, I think it's just a unique way to farm EMC for sure. Now, to find a biome, we can use the nature's compass here. And if I type in deep dark, yes, perfect. So we're 780 blocks away from a deep dark biome. I will go ahead and harvest this while I'm at it. No silk touch, perfect. And we are in the deep dark biome. Now, it'll just be finding the actual skulk. Oh, there we go. It was one of the directions. So I will grab myself a skulk sensor. 
grab myself some skulk itself and let's hope we can find a shrieker while we're in here there's one shrieker perfect our skull catalyst, sorry. And if we make enough noise, we might get ourselves a warden spawn. Come on, buddy. I know you want to come play. Come on, Mr. Warden. Is there anything else I need, by the way? I need... Oh, I need a shrieker. And echo shards. Echo shards are got from killing... Oh, okay. And then, yeah, skull shriekers I need from... the. Maybe I can find them here? I might need to find an ancient city to get a skull shrieker, unfortunately. I'm not entirely sure. I'll keep looking in this biome, but I think I'll probably need to find an ancient city. Oh, nope, there's one right here. Perfect. Is it just the one? No, it's two. Okay, I need to find a second one. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Oh, come on. There we go. Come on, buddy. I know you want to come play. Mr. Warden. Ah, I can hear you. Come out and play, Mr. Warden. There we go. Took you a while. Hello. Goodbye. Can I get another one? Yep. What about another one? Oh, there we go. Cool. Okay, I'm not getting any warden hearts. Is that just not a thing? Oh, maybe warden hearts just aren't a thing in this pack. Well, that's all I was here for. I can leave now. Goodbye, Mr. Warden. However, I still didn't get any echo shards, and that is mainly because these are found in the chests inside ancient cities. So we'll just have to run a few ferrocore core swords through the generator, or through the core, I mean, and then we'll be fine. All right, that's a decent amount of ferrocore core sword, swords, sorry. And I will throw these guys in here. It will ruin my efficiency, but it is what needs to be done for now. And yeah, we have a decent amount of drills, to say the least. Not too worried on that front. But yeah, we'll let these run. Hopefully we get some shimmer goo. Or what is this called? I forgot already. But yeah, we need that. And also ender dust, which is just macerating ender pearl. So that's easy enough. Speaking of ender pearl, we got one. And yeah, that'll take a while to heat up. But once it's done, we'll grab, hopefully, an echo shard or two. And then we can craft. Just make another assembler so I don't have to remove my polyethylene from that one over there. And then you know what? I'll just throw this. Do I need 32 you partake for this guy? Uh 24. Yeah, I will throw it over here. And I need some more wires. And I'll throw a tank full. I only need one, right? Yeah, just a thousand buckets. So that that another star, and then eventually the eclipse alloy once we get the goo. And I assume eclipse alloy is from emeralds. I didn't actually read though. A block of netherite. Good to know. Okay, yeah, I would have tried emeralds and then been very confused. Reading is important. Luckily, we have a plenty of netherite, so I'm not too concerned. I will do all six at once. And hopefully, I have an echo shard. No echo shard yet. What is the chance on it? 4%. Nice. Okay, well, we'll be here a while. So while that does that, I'm just going to clean up my base a bit. And then we'll come back once it's done. So well, it turns out we already have five echo shards, so I can take all of these out. I don't need to do this anymore. And I will throw those inside here and get all my drills back out. Because all of this is EMCable, so I don't need to worry about making any of it at this point, considering we have one 109 million EMC. And if I throw that in there, no, it's still bugged. Okay. So a quick relog will fix that, but we only need two of them, so not too concerned. However, let's speed through this. So echo shard, it is two. Four, two, and one. So I believe in the mixer over here, I need polyethylene. Yeah, I need 100 buckets of poly, or sorry, 100 millibuckets of polyethylene, which isn't really easy to grab, but I'll just grab a bucket for now. And that should craft. Oh, please don't tell me I need HV. Oh, I need HV. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Well, what we'll do is we'll make an HV upgrade, an MV to HV. So MV to HV requires an advanced machine hall. We already have the aluminum cables. Yep, and we have one hall, right? But yes, we have a turbo advanced machine hall that we made. So what we'll do is I'll sacrifice that bucket of polyethylene. Did I already throw this in the mixer? Yeah, I did. Okay. No, I want turbo. There we go. Now we should be able to craft this, correct? Why can't I craft this? 164 to use per tick. How much does this do? I mean, it doesn't tell you. Max overclock 46. What? There's no way I need EV to do this, right? There's no way I need to make this EV. This is an HV mixer. There's no way I need EV. I wonder how many advanced upgrades I can shove in this to try to move it up. How many advanced upgrades do I have? I have eight. And this has eight EV per tick each. So it's 64. How much does this change it by? So 46 to 46 to 96. Okay, so I need, what, 10 more advanced upgrades? That will give me... Okay, so I need like 12 more advanced upgrades. 
Okay, well, that's going to be a bit of crafting, but I should be able to get this to the proper tickage, hopefully. I don't I don't know if this will actually work. I might need to have EV machinery to actually make this, which means my entire thing here will be null and void, which I could make void shimmer because these also do teleport, but this is the fastest goo and I really wanted it like really, really bad. Yeah, there's a lot of cool things you can do with this, but I do want to make this. So we'll make some more of these. And then we'll be back. So that'll make a bunch of basic ones. And yeah, we'll make it two times faster. Why not? And then that should make us a bunch of advanced ones eventually. So large pump, large motor, and electronic circuit. Lovely. Okay, now if I throw all this in here, this should be enough advanced upgrades. I might have done my math entirely wrong. Also, I don't know if this will actually work, but if not, we'll have a bunch of advanced upgrades at least. Oh, and we're already back up to 6,300 emeralds just from running the drills for a little while. So yeah, the drill to emerald ratio you can do is pretty nuts. I don't want to go down here to show it off. But yeah, we're already back to 7,300 emeralds. Sorry. So 7,300 emeralds and we brought ourselves down to what? I don't even remember. But yeah, our drill ratio is pretty insane at the moment. So I'm not too worried about that. Okay, so max overclock is 192. And this still doesn't want to craft. Well, we don't have polyethylene in it, so that's probably why. Let's grab some polyethylene and see if this crafts now. Yes! Okay, so it might have just been the polyethylene that I needed. I'm going to be honest. I might be very, very silly, to say the least. I completely forgot I needed polyethylene. But originally it wasn't crafting, so in all fairness, I'm not that crazy. But I'm slightly crazy. Okay, so that and we'll do netherite and I'll start to infest. Nice. And these should be done. And with this, I put in the EBF, correct? Yes. Oh, wow. That's infesting decently fast. Wow. That was actually like the fastest one. Perfect. Okay. Almost gave us the perfect amount. So we'll let that happen. How much osmium do I have? 278. Not too shabby. Now, I have been doing this down below, which is simply automating empowered lapis or palace crystal, sorry. And that is, I just put every empowered block in here, whitelisted it, blacklist filter there, doesn't matter, in, and then just stuck the stuff in the hoppers. Very simple automation, but I was able to do 21 at a time doing this, which also means I now have Eclipse Alloy. Perfect. And with this guy, I need to make the hoe and also make the condenser with this guy. So we need six, which we have, so that's good. And with these, I want to make greenhouse glass. Perfect. And you can stack these up to a stack above. We're going to do a decent amount. Grab some carrots. And I don't know if these all stack together. So we'll, it'll be a test. I could do five crop supports total. So we'll do five crop supports for now. I'll throw that in there. We'll do more later. But for now, we'll do five stacks of or five crops, all carrots, greenhouse glass, green fertilizer to increase output and eclipse alloy ingot. And then we need a condenser, obviously, to craft it together so eclipse alloy we have four of these i have it all set up over here in my assembler do i need something else another star and it's only 24 you per tick so that should be fine and that's condenser done is that not a quest really well condenser is not a quest i guess well anyways this guy works as normal i can throw something in here say i don't know i don't even really need any of this what can i duplicate well I'll throw a carrot in there and i'll throw one of these and that'll make me carrots perfect so condenser works as normal, not an issue. And with these guys, two sticks, and we have ourselves an Eclipse Alloy Hoe, which I should just be able to right click on here with and fill it up with power. Perfect. And now I don't actually know how this works, but I should just be able to right click the ground and get crops. Yes, perfect. So, oh, right. I need to select the binding first. So if I right click and then make the crops, perfect. Can I put green fertilizer on it? I cannot. But can I put crop supports? I can. Okay. Good signs. Oh, I need water. Never mind. Very simple fix. So if I do something like, oh, this mine's too fast. So if we do something like this and we do how long I all sides, crop supports like so, carrots like so. How fast does that grow? Okay. It's growing decently fast. And I do want a single drill. We'll do a single drill like this. Put it in here. And the carrots are going in crafting now if i stack greenhouse glass on top like so these will grow faster and then we'll go just to stack up because why not
and that is 64 tall. Now, I don't think I'm going to make the water, but we're going to try anyways. Oh, we're going to make it nice. Just barely. <laughs> totally planned. So how fast is this growing? It is no longer harvesting. Why aren't you harvesting? I mean, it's definitely working, but it's not harvesting. And I don't know why. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Okay, it is harvesting. It just takes a while, I guess. So maybe this isn't worth it at all because it should harvest as soon as it grows but it doesn't seem to want to maybe if i remove the crop supports yeah no it should grow instantly it should like harvest instantly but it's not anyways we'll just leave it like so i'll put the crop supports back down and we'll just leave it it's definitely not the best cmc farm <laughs> but it's it's something very ugly that's that's one way to describe it but yeah these guys slowly but surely going to make us emc drills i'll leave it it's infinite drills not the most effective way to do it, though. Apparently, the Void Shimmer Goo is not working as intended, unfortunately. Maybe there's a config I can set to check for ticks, and maybe I can make sure the ticks are checked every, like, few seconds for a fully grown crop, and maybe that's how that works. And if that's the case, I'll just modify it, and then I'll let you guys know in the description or the comments below if I found a solution. If not, we'll just leave it as is. But anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap up today's episode there. It was a decently packed one with a few different things. We killed a few withers. We killed the ender dragon. We killed the warden. We got a bunch of different goos. We have infinite drills. We have EMC. And we have an empower setup for other future uses in the pack. And then we also have a random HV machine back there with some holes in the building. Oh, and we also got some mechanism done. Nevertheless, guys, I do want to say thanks for watching this video. I want to say thank you for all the continued support. This is the 10th episode of the series, and you guys have shown nothing but love and support for this series so far, and I really do appreciate it. But we'll wrap it up there. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like on it. It means a lot. If there was something you learned or something you want to teach me about the mods or anything I'm doing, leave it in the comments below. And if you don't want to miss any future uploads or anything else from me, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!